Hi, welcome to CloudRail IoT. My name is Felipe and I'm gonna show you how to use CloudRail with Azure IoT Central. For this guide, you need to have prepared two things. First, you need a CloudRail account with a device already set up. Second, you need a Microsoft Azure account with a valid subscription. Once in your Azure portal, click on Create Resource and then select IoT Central Application. You can either search or click on the Internet of Things tab. Now, fill every information requested. Remember that you must have a valid subscription in order for it to work. As a template, select Custom Application. Wait until Microsoft deploys your application, and then go to your new URL. Before going to CloudRail platform, first we need to generate an API token. To do that, first click on Administration, then on API token, and then generate a new token. Remember, that token will not be shown again, so be sure to copy it and store somewhere safe. Now go to your CloudRail platform, click on Credentials, and here we need to add the new credentials for the new Azure IoT Central. Use the same DNS and application URL you created before. Also, remember to copy paste the entire token with all the string, including the white spaces. After that, go to the main dashboard, click on new device. Let's use the temperature device for this one. Let's send the data every 3 seconds. Select Azure IoT Central as your service, name the device and click on create. And boom, that's it, you just created the device. Now that you created a device, you can see on the device details page the information it actually reads and sent to the Azure IoT Central. Now, it's already integrated. Now it's up to you to decide what to do with your data. For instance, what if we want to visualize the temperature every 3 seconds? Let me show you how to do that right now. Now, go back to your Azure IoT Central application and you can see there's a new device as well as a new template there. So now, let's use that template to visualize the data. Click on Device Templates, then on Views, and then let's create a new tile with the information we want. Let's create two tiles, one for Celsius and one for Fahrenheit. Or even better, let's create only one tile that presents both informations. And that's it! You just integrated and visualized your first data. The data is being sent every 3 seconds, so every 3 seconds the graph should update itself with the new data coming from the CloudRail platform. And that's it! Remember to check the official documentation for more in-details explanations. Thanks for watching.